Hello, uh, in this tutorial I am going to show you step by step how to render interior scene with Mansell Ray. Uh, here is our uh, final render. I downloaded this scene from uh, 3drender.com slash challenges. There are lots of uh, free scenes in different file formats that you can download and just light. If you search the uh, bedroom, here's the uh, scene files. I also put all project as a zip file. You can download it. Let's uh, let's see what are the steps and which lights I used for to light the scene and. Let's get started. Okay, in Maya, uh, I have only three light. One is directional light that gives me this uh, bright area in the bed. This is my uh, main light, like key light, and I have two area light. It mimics uh, the uh, sunlight comes from outside of the window. All the materials I have is MIA material. <coughs> Sorry, uh, there is no uh, special uh, shader. There is only one uh, displacement map used in the back wall in the in the room. This one. I use rather than using a uh, HDR, I use image-based lighting with simple uh, ramp. R uh, I uh, choose not the image file, go to texture, and I plug a simple ramp, and I give uh, simple uh, colors to mimic skylight. There are some um, values over the over the one to increase the intensity of uh, final gather effect. For this render, I uh, I use those final gather with one diffuse bounce, but I increase the I incre increase the primary diffuse scale by by double. Let's uh, open Photoshop and see the all the steps. Okay, this is my this is my first render. Before assigning shaders, I always uh, create a new uh, render layer in Maya and assign a black MIA material. I just overwrite the whole uh, scene and position. I put always position my lights before I uh, create shaders to see overall light and the direction of the light. The first couple of uh, render, I play with the. Uh, intensity of light, intensity of the uh, H, uh, intensity of the ramp I used. Here I start to rotate my directional light to get better lighting over the bed. I try to create some uh, uh, interesting shapes over the bed and uh, in this area also. Here I uh, increase the quality of the render settings and I also increase the directional light intensity by double. Here's here still I am uh, I'm rotating the directional light to create more interesting shapes. Try to find the best one. Here, uh, here now. I start to uh, create a m uh, ground sh uh, f ground floor shader. This is simple uh, wood material that I download from uh, cgtextures.com. There are lots of free and very good textures there. You can uh, freely download. Uh, as you can see, because I give a, a dark brown color to the ground, uh, my room become darker I slowly assign another shaders to the back wall and I uh, 
tweak its UV and reposition the texture in this one I create a shader for the wall and increase the brightness of the wall and I I think in this uh, step I increase the uh, file gather uh, primary diffuse bounce sorry primary diffuse scale to 2 and this one I create a simple uh, MI uh, skin SSS for this uh, uh, for the screen uh, flower here I create a basic Mia Material X uh, glass shader for the coke bottle and give some texture to the brand I use different colors in different uh, objects to see uh, which one is better I try a red uh, table color also for the uh, walls I changed the color this was my uh, final uh, test after this I create another shader for the uh, posters on the wall and the guitar and the light there's a uh, there's a cup here there's a chair here a box okay let's go to fusion and see the our uh, raw render image here's our uh, raw render image by the way I uh, I use uh, linear uh, workflow because because of that I convert all my uh, colors and textures uh, I degamma them I mean if you look for example to the wall and see the shader you can see I use gamma nodes for everything because the color of the uh, images like JPEGs or Tigers they have 2.2 gamma so I'm, I'm multiplying that gamma with uh, 0.454 to, to uh, make my gamma 1 uh, it's not only for textures I also use it for uh, use it for colors here as you can see here is my uh, raw uh, render let's see with uh, with the 2.2 gamma on it here's our <coughs> final raw render uh, of course the model is not perfect there are some straight lines and lots of object lack of detail uh, it depends on you if you spend more time on this you will get better result let's go to scene and let's uh, see the shaders uh, for some shaders in the scene I use uh, uh, ambient occlusion with what I did I create a surface shader an ambient occlusion shader I plug the original shader into the bright color of the ambient occlusion shader and then in the same original shader I increase the saturation and decrease the value brightness value and plug it to the darkest color so by doing that for example for here I will see I will see this uh, texture in here but slowly in these areas I will have a darker color because I use this ambient occlusion node lots of my shaders have the same uh, utilities some of them uh, they don't have uh, to break this uh, super sharp edges uh, for s some parts of the object I edit it like here I just give the bevel and start uh, uh, tweaking the vertices to get uneven uh, uh, 
the shapes because in real life you know it's it's not perfect the objects have some scratch may they may have some uh, uh, broken parts etc after that uh, let's see the lights as, as, as I said before this is my uh, main directional light it comes from outside and I have two area light if I use if I have used uh, e physical sun and sky I will use area lights with uh, portal light it's it sometimes gives a better result uh, let's go back to fusion and see the see the compositing that I have done for this image after I give it gamma I I uh, change the colors of the image a bit May, uh, I give a contrast and then play with the shadows uh, midtones and highlights and then I plug my ambient occlusion pass let's oh by the way let's talk about the render passes I go back to Maya here are here are my uh, render passes I always use render layers rather than using uh, Maya's scene passes oh as of course I sometimes use for some passes I have beauty pass that you see um, in here this one uh, I have normal pass let's run the C I always use uh, test resolution when I uh, developing a look for a scene To do this uh, normal shader, I simply assign a surface shader to the whole scene, and then to the out color of the surface shader, I plug ambient occlusion mode and change the output mode to 3. It was 0, and I turn it to 3. If you use it as a two, uh, 0, you will have a normal ambient occlusion. And for my occlusion pass, I have same shader except I have uh, spread, and the output mode is zero. For light direction, let's see the pass in the fusion. I think, uh, yeah, this one, and this one. So I use this to give some uh, additional shadow to my. Uh, to my render uh, like I said I I never use uh, uh, occlusion pass with multiply option I always convert this as a mask and I uh, d decrease the gamma of the area and increase the saturation because if you use ambient occlusion like this Okay, you have your uh, beauty render here, and you plug uh, the uh, your occlusion pass here, and you choose the mode as a multiply. You will have uh, dirty grayish areas, but in re in real life it doesn't happen like this. So I use this uh, this way. I convert this as a mask, and then use that mask to color my here the difference with the emit occlusion and not after that uh, I use my light direction pass to give additional uh, shadow to my scene I use this uh, pass as a mask and I give another color correction to give these shadows after that I have normal pass I gave the uh, some bluish color to the top of the objects to mimic this uh, blue c 
color comes from the outside of the window but it's very subtle here you can see and then I have uh, a soft focus let's blur the image a bit I have a uh, volumetric light here if you don't know how to create volumetric light in Maya you can uh, you can there's a tutorial in my uh, in my in our website uh, you can search for volumetric and you can watch it it's quite easy to do so I increase the gamma of the gamma and the brightness of the uh, volumetric light and put at the screen option here here is the difference with it and without it and I gave some glow to to the brightness brightest areas of the image. I have Z depth pass. I use with Z, Z uh, S Z blur. Here's the effect of it. I also gave some uh, fog to give some atmosphere to the room. And I always use this uh, small trick to give better. Uh, uh, photographic look to my renders it's a uh, it's it's not a uh, very accurate but it mimics the chromatic aberration you just move your image to one side and disable the green uh, channel then firstly I, I give uh, lastly I gave uh, some uh, vignette and I have a grain Here is our final I image. Let's see with the rough, rough uh, render. Uh, like I said before, if you s uh, spend more time on it, uh, if you give a more detail to objects like this table and the computer and the chair. Uh, it depends on uh, how much how much how much time you have I spent like uh, seven or six hours for this render I put the whole project file to the server so you can download it so mm, that's all Thanks for watching. Thank you.